prom sure is coming up fast and we have the details you really don't want to miss. And we have your newest edition of Car Talks with Chris that features one of our very own Academy students. Plus, I'm here in studio to give you an update on all sports happening this weekend. I'm Hayden Hall. And I'm Gabe Biscona. And I'm Julia Hurst. All these stories and more coming up on NHS TV Live. We have some exciting news for members of the National Honor Society. Officers for the 22-23 school year have been chosen. Congrats to President Ashley Miner, Vice President Fayette Hyung, Senior Rep Madeline Hack, Junior Rep Ella Hughes, Treasurer Samantha Rodriguez, Secretary Tessie Roselle, and Historian Audrey Newby. We wish the best of luck to next year's NHS officers. Now we have some exciting things happening with sports, and Hayden Hall is in studio to catch us up. Hayden? Howdy Texans, and welcome to this Friday Sports Report. Starting off, our Texan softball team played Wednesday against the Denton Ryan Raiders and crushed them 18-2. Great job, Texans. They will play their last home game tonight at 7 p.m. against Denton Ryan, so make sure to go support. Texan baseball also plays tonight away at 7 p.m. against Colleyville Heritage. Good luck, boys. And moving on to track, some of our track and field athletes competed yesterday in the area meet for a chance to qualify for regionals. Star Kaczynski took the silver for discus. Keenan Real placed second in long jump also placed first in the 110 meter hurdle and placed first again in the 300 hurdles. Lyric Butcher took the gold in long jump as well as fourth in the 100 meter dash. Anaya Potter placed fourth in long jump and third place for 300 meter hurdles. Girls four by 100 took the gold. Andrew Luckenhaus placed third in the 800 meter and second in the 400 meter. And girls four by 200 came in third place. Boys four by 400 relay placed first and girls four by 400 came in fourth place. And freshman Mac Blue placed first in pole vault. Congratulations to all these athletes and good luck to them as they prepare for regionals. Well, that's all I have for today, Texans. But Blake is here in studio with softball to hear what's next for their season. Blake? Thank you so much, Hayden. I'm here with varsity softball player Sadie Reed. Now, before we get into the interview, uh, what position do you play? I play shortstop. Okay, and what's your district record for this season? We are 11 and 2 this season. And uh, being 11 and 2, are you guys going to make it to playoffs? And if so, who will you face? Yes, we will make it to playoffs, and um, we play Azel next week at, on Wednesday. And are you confident going into the game Wednesday? Yes, I am. I'm really confident. Do you have anything else you want to say to all the Texans out there? Just make sure to come support because the softball games are like a lot of fun. So just come show your support. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Sadie. Back to you, Gabe. That's very exciting. Thanks so much, Blake. Now in the sport, now more in the sports world, today is the last day to sign up if you're participating in Powerpuff, and you can pay the $20 to one of the locations below. Powderpuff will take place May 24th from 5th to 8th period to the JV, JV football field, and if you would rather watch them play the game, tickets are $10 and can be paid in those same places. Thanks, Gabe. Now seniors, don't forget, today is the last day to vote for Prom King and Queen. Votings will close at 4 p.m., so make sure to get your votes in before the polls close. You can use the link below to vote for your nominees. Also, next Friday the 29th is the last day to purchase prom tickets. You can purchase tickets up until 4.30 on the 29th. The max purchase for one student is two tickets at $65 apiece. You can buy tickets before and after school or during your lunch. Also, if you have any unpaid fines or fees, you will need to pay those before purchasing a ticket to prom. On a completely separate note, you may have been hearing about the baby goats in these ag classes. Reporter Madison Molinar went out and got the story about the goats to answer some of your guys' questions. Chip and Posey are our two bottle baby boar goats that we have in the ag hall right now. Um, they're here because, because of them being bottle babies, they need to be fed every few hours, which we do in class. They also here just so we can get a hands-on experience for dealing with newborns, which we do in our advanced animal science. And they'll need vaccinations and to be tagged in a couple of weeks, which is what we'll do in our vet med class. Um, Posey is three weeks old and she's quite a bit smaller than Chip just because she was one of four babies out of the same mom. So she's like the runt, I guess you could say. And Chip, he's only a week old and he's already like super active and a lot bigger than her. Um, but he's just here because his mom was having a harder time providing for him and his brother. Those goats are absolutely adorable. I'm so jealous of the students who get to hang around them all day. Now, from the ag shop to the highway, we have a special edition of Car Talks that features one of our NHS TV reporters. Mm -hmm. 
on today's episode of Car Talk. We have another edition of Student Features on Your Car. The one and only Macy Cupertson is a senior here at Northwest and is in the CMP Academy, where she anchors and produces shows for NHS TV. I currently have a 2017 Mustang EcoBoost, which she is slow but mighty. She makes 300 horsepower and a little over 300 pounds of torque. So far, I have done the blow-off valve, the exhaust, and the carbon fiber splitter. I want to do a catback exhaust, new wheels, cold air intake, just stuff to improve the performance and the look of the car. My dream car is a Shelby GT500. I first found out about it when I went to that car show and I saw one that was full carbon fiber and I completely just fell in love with that car. I started researching who Carol Shelby was after I went to that car show. And you know, he has really become like really inspirational to me because he just never wanted to give up and he always wanted to improve. And I think that's huge. So I definitely look up to him. Like my cars, I'll make this fast. If you want to be on the next car talk, then head over to our Instagram at NHS underscore TV and also cars dot with Chris to be able to get your car on car talk. Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode coming soon. If you would like to be on the next car talks with Chris, DM us on Instagram at NHS underscore TV. And tune in to the Monday show for a new episode of Movie Monday. And don't forget, another edition of Athlete of the Week. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.